Good morning, everyone. Gerard Green in West Texas. I wanted to show you um, where the irrigation system is going. So it's time to do some watering. Low on water. Uh, we're about a little less than halfway. And I know the pressure line that I, where, where I want to be is here. I know at this height, it, well, this height right here, it has enough pressure to feed all the beds. You know, so this one tank, um, it's probably feeding about 50 trees in a garden bed. And they're all at different elevations. So, you know, to kind of explain it, you know, this valve that comes out here, and you can do this more organized. You know, right now I'm still in prototype phase, so I'm not, you know, too concerned with it. This goes to the highest bed. So actually I'm gonna turn that on, you know, uh, for the moment this morning. So when you water, the first thing you wanna do is water at the highest elevation when you're watering on different elevations because you want the most pressure going to the highest bed which is up there so when that cuts on all the pressure will make sure it hydrates the highest bed first and i'll let that run you know probably when it's that when it's that low i'll probably let it run for a good 30 minutes before i turn the others on which are lower the next in elevation is a tree bed which is this guy and then the next is the garden bed which is this guy now turn that all on him over there, he actually refills the pond. That's the autofill. This right here will connect the other three totes to the other three totes together. And this is just a means of getting water uh, for watering dogs and other stuff. But anyway, so, you know, long term. And so I like this right here. This was at the Dollar General. I think it was like $5. It was nothing. But I can manually just turn it on and do an automated watering, you know, a, a, a timed watering. Because out here, there's so many things to do. I always forget and leave this on and I'll drain the tank out. The plants love it, I don't. Um, it means I gotta get more water until I get the water from the greenhouse refilling the totes. But anyway, so long-term, what you're gonna have is a solenoid here, solenoid here, solenoid here. And so everything is automated. You know, like long-term, I don't want these little devices controlling where water goes. I want a complete automated system. You know, the furthest, uh, and this is the bed right here. The furthest in this bed that gets water, uh, there should be a moisture sensor. Yep, see, here we go. Water's already dripping. So when you walk down this bed, it snakes around all the way around there, over there, over down here, and it ends up at this last little tree. And the challenge is, especially because I'm watering uphill, is making sure that this tree gets enough water. So here's where you put a moisture sensor. And so from an automated approach, you have an app or a website which shows you all your garden beds, the driest, which will be the highest elevated, furthest one, and yes, that is a dead mouse, <laughs> and how hydrated that bed is. And so from your smartphone, you could be in another country, you turn the bed on or turn the bed off, or you set everything up on automated timers. So that's where we're going with this, is gonna be a 100% complete automated solution. So when this bed is done, then you can move over and do the next bid. And that's what all the totes are for. So I just kind of wanted to explain the automated system. Hopefully that made sense. It probably didn't. But as I get further in the system and I start to show you, it'll make a lot more sense. Anyway, this is Gerard. You guys have a great day.